It was roughly about a year ago that I started promoting this idea that you could utilize Google Classroom to quickly create collaborative documents and collaborative spaces and not have to go through all the time of going into Google Drive, making copies and assigning appropriately. So I'm going to go through those steps again because Google Classroom has changed. It's not that the process is very different. It's just that the buttons are in different places. So this is just an updated version of my previous post from about a year ago. So I'm going to go to Google Classroom. I'm going to also let you know I have a HyperDoc already pre-made, ready to go. So I have my template ready in Google Slides. You can do this in Google Docs, Google Sheets, whatever. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create an assignment. And so I go to the top and I create an assignment. And I had already created the topic earlier before I started making this video. But I'm going to use that topic. You'll see it here in a little bit. So it's my draft collaborative space. I'm not going to use any points. I'm going to set the topic as the one I want, hacking collaborative documents. And I'm going to attach it from Google Drive. Add. I'm going to make it that students can edit. And then I'm not going to assign this. But I just want you to notice that I have it set that students can edit. And I attached it from Google Drive. I had my template ready to go. And what's great is I don't have to make multiple copies. Google Classroom is going to do it for me. I'm going to save this as a draft, and then you will see it residing right here underneath my topic, Hacking Collaborative Docs, in the new Google Classroom, and it's saved as a draft. Okay, so here's where the fun part comes, because I don't have to go and make copies of this. Classroom's going to do it for me, and how I'm going to go about doing that is I'm going to first reuse the post. I'm going to select this draft, and then I'm going to create new copies of my attachments. And then what I'm going to do is rename the group and choose which students need it and then assign it. Ready, set, go. Create, reuse, select my draft. Here's my draft. Make sure this is checkmarked. Create new copies of all attachments. Reuse. I can change this from draft to group one, change my students to which students need it. Yeah, this is not a very large class. It's okay. Students can edit. Already my topic set. I already have it attached and I'm going to assign. I'm going to do the exact same process except with my next group of students. Okay, so here's the beauty of it all. I now have uh, my topic. I have group one and I have group two and they can work on this. I assigned it to the appropriate students, obviously not too many students. And then I can just delete the original draft and it's not going to delete my document. It just deletes the assignment. My document, my original is still sitting in my Google Drive. Now what's fantastic is that this assignment here is in my Google Classroom folder in Google Drive and each document is separate in the Google Classroom folder for new Google Classroom, and I will show you where it is. I'm going to click on the Class Drive folder. Here are my collaborative documents ready to go. I didn't even have to do any extra copies. It automatically copied them for me. If I really wanted to determine who had access to which document from here, I could actually right click on the document itself, click on View Details, and it would show me which students can edit. It shows me exactly right here, Details and Activity, who has access when I click on this one, it's going to show that this student can edit. And so it gives me all the information I need right there within Google Drive to know who has access to which one. And if I want to quickly see them and see any progress that has been made in them, I could click the preview icon here and see anything that was added to them. If I want to see the previous document, I could click the back arrow. It'll take me to the previous one and I'm able to quickly see any progress that students had made. All right, so that is one of my favorite little tricks, the hacking collaborative documents in Google Classroom trick. Again, to reiterate, you create the assignment attached to document, make it that students can edit, and you save it as a draft, and then you use the reuse post option all underneath the classwork tab and just make your copies and make sure that you make new copies of those documents and assign it to the appropriate students. There's my trick.